Welcome back guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about intracellular receptors. Okay. Now intracellular receptors can be of two types which include intracytoplasmic or the receptors which are present in the cytoplasm or it can be intranuclear okay receptors which are present inside the nucleus so two types of intracellular receptors are possible one is intracytoplasmic or intranuclear receptors now let's start with the intracytoplasmic receptors which you need to know there are four important hormones which are using intracytoplasmic receptors they include adrenal hormones like mineralocorticoids including aldosterone guys please concentrate it's a sterone aldosterone it's a steroid hormone as it's a steroid hormone definitely it can cross the cell membrane aldosterone it will cross the cell membrane it will enters into the cell it will enter into the cytoplasm inside the cytoplasm yes mineralocorticoid receptor is there or the aldosterone receptor is there in the cytoplasm cortisol okay and androgens and finally vitamin d so intracytoplasmic receptors are seen for these hormones now let's talk about the intranuclear receptors intranuclear receptors are used by hormones like sex with t3 t4 so this is a mnemonic which i used to which i use for myself so sex steroids okay so sex steroids like estrogen and progesterone vitamin a it will go into the vitamin a and vitamin d they are fat soluble vitamins they will cross the lipid layer they will enter into the cytoplasm from the cytoplasm they can even go into the nucleus inside the nucleus there is a receptor for vitamin a and t3 t4 what are these t3 t4 thyroid hormones so remember for your entire life very very important mcq thyroid hormone receptors are present inside the nucleus so thyroid hormones have intranuclear receptors okay so remember it with like sex with t3 t4 that's a mnemonic which you can know now after seeing different types of receptors let's now discuss action of aldosterone okay now what is the function of aldosterone guys aldosterone increases the sodium reabsorption how it will happen we'll see one by one now aldosterone it will definitely going to cross the lipid layer why because it's a steroid it's a steroid hormone it will cross the lipid cell uh, lipid bilayer it will enter into the cell now we are in the cytoplasm okay now inside the cytoplasm there is aldosterone receptor here is the receptor for aldosterone okay aldosterone have entered into the cell now aldosterone is going to bind with the aldosterone receptor now this aldosterone which is bound with the which is bound with its receptor is called as hormone receptor complex so now aldosterone is bound with the receptor this complex is called as hormone receptor complex now this hormone receptor complex will go to the center so what is the center guys here center is nothing but nucleus now this hormone receptor complex it will come to the nucleus or inside the nucleus where it will activate something called as hormone responsive elements inside the nucleus 
there are something, there are certain chemicals or there are certain structures called as hormone responsive elements. Now they are responsive hormones, they are responsive to hormones, in the name itself it is there. So these hormone responsive elements are activated and these hormone responsive element will go and act on DNA causes transcription. So this hormone uh, responsive element will activate transcription factors. Okay, so now transcription factors help in the process of transcription. Now after transcription, there is production of mRNA. Now this mRNA helps in the production of proteins. Okay, so this is how aldosterone will function. So aldosterone, it will enter into the cell. It will bind with its receptor inside the cytoplasm. Now, this hormone receptor complex will come into the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, this hormone uh, receptor complex will activate hormone responsive elements. Now, these hormone responsive elements will activate the transcription factors. Transcription factors are the ones responsible for the transcription and helps in the production of uh, mRNA. And at the end of the day, proteins are produced. Which proteins are produced? The proteins which are involved in sodium reabsorption so they are called as enacs okay what are this enac epithelial sodium channels now if these epithelial sodium channels are the ones which are involved in sodium reabsorption okay so sodium reabsorption is done with the help of aldosterone so this is how aldosterone functions okay by acting on its cytoplasmic receptor and via activation of transcription Okay guys, in this video the prime area which you need to know is the two different types of receptors. Intracellular receptors including intracytoplasmic as well as intranuclears. Okay, intranuclear receptors. If you know that, that will be more than enough for your exam. Hope the video is helpful. See you in the next video.